Hello guys, I'm so happy that you guys are still continuing with the series. So in the last episode, we saw some theory about how coordinates work inside Qt, how pixels are set up and how you can change the pixels and change the moment of the element, right? So if you haven't watched that part, the part four of this series, then I recommend you watching it. And in this part, we're going to move our rectangle with the user when the user presses any keys like um, not any but in our case right arrow key left arrow key up arrow key and down arrow key to move it inside the window so i want this rectangle to move inside this window whenever i click the arrow keys because we're trying to make this a player and in the game you need to change the position of the player to do something inside the game right so i want it to take a user a key pressed event and then change the position and the logic behind how to do this is explained in previous tutorial lecture uh, it's just three four minutes so i recommend you watching that and if you have already watched it then there would be no problem understanding what i'm doing right here so in q in qml we have this function but before explaining you anything, I'm going to show you what we have on the screen. So we have a rectangle on the top left because our coordinate starts from 0, 0 right here. Like I said in last um, lecture. So if I give the position x is called 100 and y equal to 100, then what's going to happen? The rectangle will move to 100 pixel on the right. It goes from 0 to 100 on the right side and it goes from 0 to 100 on the downward direction. So if I run it again, then you can see that it went to the right side by 100 pixel and went down by 100 pixel and reached up to somewhere here. So, close this window too. So I'm gonna change the position with my keyboard. So we have this function in QML, which is keys on pressed on pressed so this function what it sorry it does is this takes any kind of key event that happens on a keyboard and it registers those events so it also uses um, JavaScript not this but QML uses JavaScript which I didn't tell you before but you can use JavaScript function inside um, QML. A lot of people, a lot of professionals um, use JavaScript, in, JavaScript inside QML. This game, the entire logic will be done in C++, but some of the minor functionalities you can use JavaScript. And um, it's a good practice to use uh, JavaScript for smaller functionalities, but if it's very uh, heavy, intense calculation or any um, uh, time consuming uh, computation then it's better to use C++ for any type of logic but this is just a minor functionality so I'm just using JavaScript function so what I'm saying is like keys on pressed execute an event then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an if else statement in this function which is going to say event dot key so key is just a variable if it's equal to qt dot key sorry qt dot key left let's say left now what i'm saying is see this qt dot left has a value let's say one let's say one it has a register value for the left key and it checks if the event key which is like this this function is taking from our keyboard if any action that I do in my keyboard will be kept in this function so it checks if that event is equal to the value if I press the left key the value will be one right so this will be equal so that's how it works so this stores the value of our left key and then checks if it's actually a left key and if it is a left key then we're gonna say change the position of our X to go towards left side and to go towards left side what I'm going to do is our rectangle's name is move one here's the ID move one dot X 
needs to go towards left so if i for going towards left it starts from zero right sorry if it goes to our left it should be minus it should be minus so if zero is towards this side we are already in 100 pixel if i want to go to this side on the left side i need to keep on minus like i need to subtract it by 10 pixel 10 pixel and goes to 90 80 70 60 pixels and it looks like i'm moving towards the left side and if i want to move towards right side it starts from zero so i need to keep on adding so that it keeps on moving towards the right side i i made you understand this logic in the previous tutorial i think uh, you understood and um, what is this error this should all be all good sorry so if the event happens if event.key moves towards so if event.key is equal to the key left then i want to move towards the left side and i'm gonna run it again to check if it's moving or not if i press the left key it's not moving so we have another property called focus in qml and i'll tell you what focus does it takes a boolean value so i'm giving it true so there is going to be in our example in this example we only have one rectangle inside our window what if there are like five to ten rectangles and if i push any keys how would i how would the system know that which rectangle to move if those all the rectangles have a certain key event going on so for this one i'm saying like if certain element has a focus true then that should be prioritized to be activated when any uh, key event is happening or that is the actual focus uh, element in our window so any event from the user will first be attacked to this one because this is focused as true in in simple understanding i'm just saying that this is the activated um, element inside the window so that whenever i hit the button the single sushi should be re received by this rectangle first and the others later on if yeah there are any so if i do that yeah i can move towards the left side but now i can move towards right because i have not assigned anything so i will quickly do it for all the all the arrow keys for right similarly to go towards right i need to add 10 pixels so from zero it goes 110, 120, 130, and similarly to our right side. And similarly for moving up and down, I'm gonna copy this condition and then say if the key is up, then I want this to move. Sorry. I want this rectangle to want to move. If I want to move upward, if it starts from zero, then it needs to be subtracted, right? So minus equals to 10. Then it what happens? Now it's in Y position, which is like 100. Then it goes 90, 80, 70, similarly. If I want to go further below, I will look like 110, 120. So I need to add. So this coordinate that I'm trying to explain, I explained it in the previous tutorial. So similarly, I'll just copy this and paste it here. And then this is for moving downward. So I'll put down key here. So I'm guessing it all works. Yeah, I can move around the window by pressing keys from my keyboard. So this is it for this tutorial. I hope you understand. If you have any confusion please let me know in the comments i'm very willing to help um, i tried my best to make you understand for any smaller logics as well so i hope you really understood the fundamentals of what is going on even though it's simple so yeah i'll see you in the next one thank you